What is up guys, Giant Tsunami one here with another FIFA 16 formation review. This one's going to be covering my second favorite formation in FIFA 16, which is the 4-3-3 fourth variation. I already did one on my favorite, which is the 4-2-3-1 second variation, so make sure to check that video out after this one. But we're going to start off guys, once again, we're going to be talking about the instructions, the best players to use in this formation, and the pros and the cons of this formation. So we're going to start off with the instructions again, right back and left back guys, stay back while attacking, that's all you got to put on them, make sure you stay back, you want to have good right backs, good left backs, but really those are the least important formations, you want to have at least 80 pace and at least 80 defending, it could vary a little bit, if your defending is higher, your pace can go lower, if your pace is higher, your defending can go a little bit lower, but never have below 70 defending. Then we go over to the center backs guys, of course they have to stay back while attacking as their instructions and the pace you want to have at least 70, not nearly as important as the field 15, but you still want to have at least 70 pace and then defending at least 80, the higher the defending the better, there's a lot of great players that are pretty cheap that you can get that have 80 defending or above, 84 defending and 70 pace. So make sure to check those guys out. Again, goalkeeper, you can't really say anything about. Just get a good all-around goalkeeper. Reflexes and diving are probably the most important stats in a goalkeeper. So just make sure you get a good one that fits for chemistry in your team. Then we got the center mids, guys. And these two center mids, I like them to play as if they're center defensive mids. So I like to tell them to stay back while attacking and to cut passing lanes. You tell them to do that and once again, just like my 4-2-3-1, I like to have one that's more defensive oriented and another one that is more of an all-around center mid. He's more of a true center mid. He has at least 70 defending, but he's also a really good passer, a really good pace, shooter, all-around player that you can really help out in the attack. While the other one's more of a true defensive, center defensive mid with at least 80 pace. More importantly, his attacking work rate is medium to low and his defending work rate is high. At least make sure that the defending one is high. If the attacking is high, then make sure that he's got great pace and great defending to make up for it. Then of course your center attack and mid, I don't like to use any instructions for, like to leave him how he is. I do want him to have good dribbling, good shooting stats, good pace, good all around player and great dribbling stats. So you can really run the ball around him. He can be a facilitator for your team, really get those passes into those players. Then you got your wing players. Your wing players are going to be great pace great dribbling stats. Those are the two most important stats for my wing players. I like to tell them to stay wide, stay forward, and get in behind. That way they make some nice little runs and they stay up on the attack. I really like them to be pacey, like I said, and great dribbling so they can cut in from the outside. Again, guys, if you have a left mid player, I usually like him to be right footed so he can cut in and take that finesse shot. And a right mid player, I like him to be a left footed. If you have good star weak foot, if he has a good weak foot, like four star weak foot or five star weak foot, then it really doesn't matter that much. You can have a right footed player on the right side. But usually I like to have a left footed player on the right side and a right footed player on the the left side and my last one guys is the striker and once again I like to tell him to stay central and be the target man you want to run your offense around him this is very similar formation to the 4-2-3-1 second variation it's just a little bit different you get a little bit more of an attack I would say but the defense is a little bit worse I would say in 4-2-3-1 in my opinion but it's still really solid and it's still really balanced and that's a great pro of this formation. It's still a really balanced formation and for people that prefer wingers over left mids and right mids, this formation is the one for you. Personally, I think that helps out in the attack. They're a little bit more up the pitch and they're a little bit less worried about um, helping out on the defense since you already have a strong defense that could help you out but since you don't have center defensive mids and they're more center mids even though you could put players and I would recommend to put center defensive mids in those positions at least one of them there's still a defense could be lacking a little bit more than it would be in a 4-2-3-1 but basically these two formations are really really similar the attacking I think is a little bit better in this formation and the defending is a little bit worse and personally I prefer the 4 2 3 one too but I know a lot of people prefer this formation really balanced great for passing make sure to use your wingers but again make sure to run your offense through the middle through your center attack and mid through your striker get him the ball around the penalty box and make some moves with him wash your wingers 
go make some nice little runs from the outside and look for them for open goals. That's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this formation, please leave a like, comment, and share it with all your friends. If you haven't seen some of my other tutorials, I have over 20 tutorials that will help you on basically everything in FIFA. Defending, attacking, passing, dribbling, you name it. I got to Click on the top left. If you want to see my Road to Division 1, Road to Glory series, click on the top right. If you want to see my other formation reviews and my future formation reviews, click on the bottom left. And of course, subscribe by clicking down in the bottom right so you don't miss out any future tutorials or tip videos. Thanks, guys.